This week, we're playing with matches. What could go wrong? This episode of Scam School brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash scam school for your free trial membership and Squarespace. Welcome to the only show whose classroom looks like this. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we've got a two for one because you are going to blow some minds using the simplest of props, just a few matchbooks, to pull off the matchstick miracles. All right, now I gotta figure out how to. Who's got? What's going on? I'm Brian. Jake, Jake Marissa, and Anne Marie. What you're about to see is nothing short of a psychological miracle. I just grabbed a fistful of these Strike Anywhere matches. You can use as many of these as you want for this experiment. You can do this with bottle caps, whatever you have laying around. What I want to do is I'm going to make a prediction right here, and I'm going to turn away. When I do, I want you to pick some number greater than three, four, five, six, seven, it doesn't matter, and make three piles with the same number of matches. It's your choice of how many we use. Three piles. Yeah, three piles of the same amount. Three piles perfectly even. Sound good? And meanwhile, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make my prediction over here. And I'm not looking. There we go. All right, I've made my prediction. Written on that napkin. Let, let me know when you got your piles made. You got them? So you got three even piles. There you go. Flip it upside down so you can't peek. And I'm going to write Brian's Bad ass prediction. All right. One of you pick up three of them from pile number one. The other of you pick up three of them from pile number three. Both of you dump them in the middle pile. You got it, Jake? One sec. They're uh, tricky to grab. Done. All right, now, count how many are on the rightmost pile. Yep. And whatever that number is, I want you to take those out of the middle pile. All right, now, with them in your hand, I want you to take one of those, okay, take one from the, from the ones in your hand, take yep. one of them, set them in the left or in the right, your choice. Done. You got it? Yep. All right, throw away the rest. Just throw them over your shoulder. Who cares? Awesome. All right, now I've made my prediction. Before I even saw how many matches you were using, right, you could have made piles of four, five, six, seven, you could have made piles of 28 in each of them, right? Each of you grabbed some, threw them in the middle, and then I asked one of you to reach in and pull some out, and then you chose whether to set it on the left side or set it on the right side, right? Okay. Do, do we have an odd number or an even number in this first pile? Odd. Uh, odd. And then how many, we, we got even on this pile, right? Yeah. And how many do we have in the middle pile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that, I even count for you. So, we, so we've got odd over here, even over here, nine in here. You picked how many we would use, you chose where the last ones went, and before the trick even started, my prediction is that there would be odd, there would be nine, and there would be even. That's crazy, because I took one and put one in my ear. See, it didn't matter. I totally, I, I factored that in. That's how good the trick is. You like that? Yeah. Do you want to win this? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, we will do that. But first, we have to thank our sponsors. Thank you. Guys, seriously, how great is Netflix? They're up to 12 million members now and the service just keeps getting better. Not only do you have DVDs and Blu-rays sent to you by mail, not only do you download stuff over the internet to your computer, but you can download and watch movies on your Xbox, on your Nintendo Wii, on your PS3, and the list keeps growing. When they're sent over the mail, movies arrive in one business day and there's no due dates or late fees. Take as much time as you want. When you watch it instant streaming, you get instant gratification and the number of titles just keeps going up. Up. Now, most of you know Netflix has been sponsoring us for like 18 million years, but there's only one way that they can know for sure that the sponsorship is working. When you sign up for your free no-risk trial, you gotta go to netflix.com slash scam school. This is the website that tells them that it's my free beers given tutorials that's making them the money, and it's what keeps us in business. Head on over to netflix.com slash scam school so we get credit for your sign up. All right, Anne Marie, are you ready to learn? Yeah, <laughs> I have an open mind, teacher. <laughs> Explain to me the secrets. There's 
two parts to this bad boy. The first part is, it honestly doesn't matter how many they start with in each pile. In this case, yeah. we have six, six, and six, right? Yeah. If, you, if you use less than three, then you're gonna end up with one pile having zero, and that just makes things a little bit weird. No matter what they do, you're over here, you just write this down. You're on odd, nine, and even, and turn it upside down. All right, that's the first part. The second thing is I ask each of you, because there's two of you, I ask each of you to grab three from these two, and put them in the middle, right? Yeah. So now we got a giant bunch in the middle and a few on each side. Then I told you to count the number here and pick up that many from the middle. Yeah. Now at this point, if I stopped the trick right now, no matter what, you will always have uh, some number on each side and nine in the, in the middle. At this point, you always end up with nine in the middle, yeah. but that alone by itself would be just a stupid math, math trick. So to take it a step further, I ask you to take one of these and choose yeah. which side to put it in. Which side do you want to put it in? Put the right this time. All right, so in the, the right this time. So in this case, we have four, which is even, three, which is odd, and of course, nine in the middle. So when I turn this over, I show that we've got even, odd, and nine in the middle. Now, if you had put this one on the other side, when I flip this over, I would have set it down. Oh, look at you. See? Even, odd, and nine you in the middle. You need to be good at counting. That's right, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're it's math, counter. right? Now, here's the important thing. I've got a follow-up for this that's going to piss you off because it's a puzzle that totally stumped me. You want to learn it? Sure, why not? All right, let's do that. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. With blog tools that allow for iPhone updating on the go, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, robust stats, and much more, Squarespace makes it easy for anyone to build out and maintain a site that you could only dream of on other platforms. And if you have coding experience, Squarespace allows you to delve into the code and customize things even further. Tens of thousands of people all across the internet have been using Squarespace for years, and they're already great service is getting better by the day. On July 14th, Squarespace announced a huge round of capital investment that'll allow them to expand at an even faster rate. We want to congratulate Squarespace and are truly excited to work with such great people. Head on over to squarespace.com to get your free 14-day trial, and when you sign up for the service, make sure to use promotion code SCAMSCHOOL to get 10% off the lifetime of your account. Every so often in Scam School, we do a match puzzle, and recently, a kid named Blake Kaplan sent me an email and totally fooled me. No lie, I was just like, all right, dude, I gotta know how it's done, and when he sent me the answer, I was super pissed. So prepare to get pissed off, all right? Uh, the trick is using as many or as few of these matches as you want. Illustrate for me in what situation is six exactly one half of 11. So you can, you can do an equation, you can say like that's 11, or you can do a Roman numeral, whatever you want. Show me in what situation is six exactly one half of 11. And feel free to play with them. I'll let you know if you're getting close. I love the way you've got the look of like Bobby Fischer in the middle of the Grand Championship Tournament. He's <laughs> just like yeah, trying I'm to make eight moves ahead. <laughs> this is good, I like where this is headed. Oh, you used 11 matches to spell out six? Well, I mean, I could easily do this. Six. There you go. So you got six. Are you spelling, you're spelling out 11? Of 11, that's, you know what, that's pretty good. I kind of want to give you half credit for that because you certainly did use a lot of matches. So you call it it? You giving it up? Yeah, you're gonna point, I'm too eager to see what the answer All is. All right, here we go. This is going to totally piss you off because it totally pissed me off. In Roman numerals, what's that? Uh, all right. What's that? That's 10. That's right. And so, what's that in Roman numerals? 11. 11. And if I take away half, what's that? Oh, come on. <laughs> I told you it would piss you off, dude. You can't even bring yourself to say it. I told you it would piss you off. You, you were close. You know what? That's what I said, too. But I was also wrong. <laughs> That's not bad. You just yank it out. Dude, you were yeah. awesome, Jake. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. 420-5282. Oh, hey. 
Couple things to remember on the matchstick miracles. First of all, on that mind reading gag, be prepared to point out all the ways that was totally fair to them. Point out that they're the ones who decided how many matches to put in each pile. Point out that they like, focus on me. If I don't get to look, neither do you. Second of all, on that second gag, make sure to be ready for the fact that they're gonna groan when they get that answer. I know I certainly did. But I want you to post your boy, okay, focus, focus. I want to hear about your success stories and your failure stories. So post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to ep ep episode one. But if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I'm in your hometown doing face-to-face -face meetups at twitter.com slash wood. Next week, we're going to be meeting with a genuine brewmaster who's going to teach us how to make your own beer using cornflakes, water, and a pinch of Comet. Until then, I, I think the it's got to come up again with the phone number at some point. 888-420. That's, that's all I remember. Where's, where's the rest of it? Hey guys, how would you like it for me to come in person and perform for you live in your hometown? Believe it or not, it's easier than you think. Here's all you have to do. If you go to college, find out who's in charge of student activities on your campus and point them to my website at schwood.com where they can check out the five minute demo reel and get an idea of what's in the show. These are the people whose job it is to bring events just like me to campus all year round. If you're in high school, find out who's in charge of proms or graduation night parties. I work a lot of those and I'd love to work yours. If you work in a corporation, find out who's in charge of holiday planning parties and point them to the website. Then have them contact me to book a date. And finally, if you're some crazy millionaire, just call me directly. I'm on my way. And of course, you may just get lucky. I may already be headed to your town. In which case, sign up for email updates at schwood.com and follow my Twitter feed where I post my schedule regularly. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you in person real soon.